we build a range of software solutions to scale graphs. Uh, the kinds of areas where we see a lot of demand are in, for, in information management, where we see collaborative filtering applications, so recommendation systems, uh, clustering, so think social network or community detection. Graphs aren't like other types of data challenges. When the data gets very large, uh, you can have, run into problems that you don't run into when you scale with other types of data structures. Uh, the life sciences is a very big domain for us, and so we see that both in terms of drug discovery, where people are using graph analytics to mine protein pathway networks to be able to identify new treatments for existing approved drugs, and then where people are using graph-based data information uh, and integration approaches, so that where they're bringing data from different sources together, so think doctor's data, treatment data, and providing a common view for you to query it. Uh, we're used by a company called Seven Bridges Genomics, uh, which is one of the few companies in the United States that have access to the National Cancer Institute's data set, as well as the, the cancer genomics data from the UK and the National Institutes of Health. We're using the Tesla family of GPUs. Uh, we've done most of our work on the K40 and K80 series. Um, and as it turns out, uh, graphs are not like other big data challenges. So you can't just stick your data in CPU RAM and hope to get good performance on it. Um, as you traverse a very large graph, even though CPU cores are very fast, the bandwidth to main memory is relatively slow. And so you end up having this condition we call the graph cache thrash. And GPU technology offers superior bandwidth to main memory and also provides effective parallelism. So we're able to see speed ups of 10 to 1,000 X uh, over CPU based applications. I think the solutions that we're delivering now with GPUs are able to support uh, graph query two to 300 times faster. And for iterative graph analytics like you're doing in the Spark machine learning applications, we see speed ups of anywhere between 700 to 1800 X over conventional approaches.